Hi there and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing how we can quickly add footstep sounds to your character animations. Just like that. In order to create our footstep sound I'm going to be using and implement this of course uh, in our character. I'm going to be using the third person template and I have imported one sound that's going to be a step sound, the one that I'm planning to use here. So as you can see, it's only a step sound, a common step sound. From this, I'm going to right click and I'm going to be creating a cool. So this is going to be our step underscore cool. I think I'm going to only be calling step. Uh, so now open this up. And as you can see over here, you can modify if you want a few things. Uh, in my case, uh, I'm going to want to be decreasing the pitch multiplier a little bit, so let's say to 0 0.8. And I'm going to be increasing the volume multiplier to let's say 1.1. And as you can see, this changes the sound. Uh, of course, this depends a lot on what specific sound you are using. The adjustments need to be accordingly to that. But I just want you to know that you can change the sound inside the engine. And now I'm going to be searching for the animation that I'm planning to implement this. So let's just search for one. And in my case, it's going to be this. Run, any, run forward animation. Uh, so basically, I'm going to be showing how we can implement this uh, in the third person template in this specific animation. But the same thing is going to be for the other other kinds of animations, other types of animations that you are using. So let's say if you're using a different character, it's going to be the basic same thing. Uh, the only difference is that right now here I have a track for other things that's tracking right here. But let me show you how you would do that. Basically, you have this notify tracks. Uh, in my case, since I have already one, it's going to be used. I'm going to be create another one. So just click it here, add notify track, I'll leave it as as two. And basically, what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be looking every time our character steps on the ground. So as you can see, moments like this one. In my case, uh, this animation is already marked, so I know exactly when it's going to be stepping on the ground. But you're probably not going to have that, so you need to check when are the right moment. And let's say right here, this is the right moment. I would simply right click, and then I would add notify, and then a play sound, just like that. And then I would add that sound that I have just made it. This go over here, just add into here, just like that. So now I would do like this. As you can see, I'm able to hear the sound every time it gets into here. But I would need to do I need to do that for every time he steps on the ground. So again, I have this marked for me. But in your case, you're probably going to have to look the right moment. So, but I'm not going to be doing that because I have marked it marked already. So I'm going to just be copying this, pasting it down here, and then here, and then here, and then here. And oops, one second. Let me just copy this one, paste it here, and then drag it down here. Just like that. So now, if I play this, as you can see, every time he steps on the ground, he's going to be playing this sound. Let's just save it. Let's go to our game, and as you can see. It's working fine. And that's basically it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memtinteract.com and enroll in this course to get all source files. Use coupon code MEMITY to enroll for free.